Mark, you have had the most incredible story and so many people would be so unaware of how it all started for you. It hasn't always been starting Josie's and Four Minutes for you as a schoolboy, was it? No, um, back in school, um, I didn't make any schoolboys or any of those um, higher honours. Um, I guess it wasn't until after school where things kind of, opportunities came. 19, got the opportunity to come in here at the TARS. Got a train and trial for two months and running around with the academy here and then um, was lucky enough to get involved into the, the senior squad training session sometimes. What was that like for you? Because you were so young when you first came here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for me, it was uh, more surreal. Um, obviously, I had, uh, I had players there that I'd been watching since I was young. 2014 championship team, like, yes. I could name all of them. They were, you know, they were, uh, I guess, the ones for me growing up, the big ones to watch, and it was, yeah, pretty cool to be able to come in and run around with them. Yeah, no one ready for Wasi. Gets the foot going. Look at the pace of The one that eats a Wasi! What a drive! Spring tour, probably like a highlight of the Wallaby season, but also a personal career highlight for you. What was it like for you when you got to put on that gold jersey, run out there with the boys and sing the national anthem? Obviously very special. Um, something you want to do, I guess, when you're young and you obviously want to get to the top. And um, I was very fortunate enough to, to have my family there as well. So it made the, the moment even, even more special. You know, even now, it's, I still can't believe that it's happened. It might be just a little bit better than good. You're a Fijian heritage and a very proud Fijian and your surname certainly screams Fijian as well. How important is your Fijian culture to you? Oh, very. My dad and um, or my, now, my stepdad as well, he's also Fijian. They've instilled the culture in us since we were little and uh, you know, even to these days, all our events, um, you know, we're, we're wearing what we need to wear in terms of whether it's a wedding um, or we're just going to church and wearing our sulu or um, whatever. It's, we practice it and, um, you know, it's, it's pretty special because um, it's a special uh, culture and people love Fijians, so it's pretty cool. They do. They really do love us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's pretty cool to share it with the world as well, so, yeah. No, it's awesome. Well, Mark, it's been so unreal to be able to talk about your journey and also look ahead to what is to come for you. Thank you so much for your time and can't wait to see you wrap it up this season. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cheers, Lodge.